welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms hello everyone you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today we are going to talk about statutory liquidity ratio in other words slr now in our series of our banking lessons we are going to talk about this important word and a phrase which is often used by the bankers and most of the time students are confused what exactly is SLR so to clear all your doubts about this particular concept let us go and study statutory liquidity ratio and if you like the video you can press the like button and also subscribe to my channel so what is statutory liquidity ratio now SLR refers to the amount that the commercial banks require to maintain in the form of cash or gold or government approved securities before providing credit to the customers. Now it is very simple. There are banks and there is RBI. RBI says to the commercial banks that you need to keep some amount of government security, gold or cash either of three with us as a security now why is the security required the security is required in case the bank fails in case the economy is in a bad shape the customers money can be returned now this is a safety net for the customer this is a cushion for the customer so what is the current SLR? 19.5%. So for example, I am a bank. I take 100 rupees from a customer. Now I can lend the entire 100 rupees to another customer and make profit. Because the customer who has given me 100%, I will give 4% as a saving bank interest. And I will use the same 100 rupees to lend to another customer at 8%. So 4 minus 8 or 8 minus 4, 4% 4 profit as a bank I can make. But the point is, RBI says that you cannot take 100 rupees, entire 100 rupees from the customer. You need to give me, that is RBI, 19.5 rupees of 100 rupees. And you can only lend the remaining money, which is... 79.5 rupees so what has happened the bank opportunity to earn on 100 rupees has now been reduced to 79.5 this is the concept which you need to understand slr is all about the commercial banks keeping a certain percentage fixed by rbi with RBA as a security in case the customers have to get their deposited amount in their banks this can be used to give the customers their money back now it is the percentage of demand and time liabilities or maturities that banks need to have in any or combination of the following forms now demand and time liabilities or maturities are very simple now every customer that comes to a bank will deposit his amount and if a customer deposit his amount in a saving bank he can withdraw that amount anytime during the day or night now this is demand the customer can demand his money back anytime from a saving bank account now the same customer comes with 5000 rupees and says that I want to do a fixed deposit of this amount because I want to earn more interest on saving bank you are giving me just 4% and this 5000 I will not be using for one year so give me more interest so the bank will say yes sir you can deposit it for one year at 7% rate of interest so I am as a customer earning 3% more than the saving bank account so what I will do I will invest this amount in the bank in the form of fixed deposit and will take 7% returns. Now this is beneficial for the 
customer so this is time maturity time liability the bank will only return your 5000 rupees after one year so i hope you now you understand what is demand and time liabilities or demand or time maturities now slr is something which can be kept by the banks with rbi in three forms there are three options either you give cash to rbi either you give gold to rbi or unencumbered approved securities now i'm sure all these things you will be understanding what is meant by securities now time liabilities refer to the liabilities which the commercial banks are liable to pay to the customers any time they demand slr is determined and maintained by reserve bank of india now the first point which is time liabilities refer to the liabilities which the commercial banks are liable to pay to the customers on their any time they demand now this will be only happening after a fixed period of time so time liability will be after one year or six months of fixed deposit now slr is determined and maintained by reserve bank of india so the minimum limit of slr and the maximum limit of slr is fixed so the maximum is 40 percent beyond which the rbi cannot prescribe slr and the minimum is zero percent so at present if anyone asks you what is the SLR percentage, it's 19.5. Now, the reason why this 19.5% uh, of the money is kept with RBI is to make available to customers if there is any crisis, their money back. Why is SLR changed from time to time? Now, RBI can increase the SLR to contain inflation. Inflation is increase in the price level, increase in the customer demand. So, which reduces the purchasing power of the amount of money which you have. So, it sucks the liability in the market, liquidity, I'm sorry, liquidity in the market to tighten the measure to safeguard the customer money in order to control the expansion of bank credit. Now, what is inflation? Inflation is increase in the prices of the goods and the commodities now why does this happen this happens because people have a lot of money in their hand so if if the banks are giving entire hundred rupees the customer is depositing to another customer obviously the customer will have a lot of money in their hand and they would go and buy everything and anything so this is not good for the economy now what rbi does rbi plays a very safe measure and tells the bank that you please give me 19.5 percent of rupees 100 and you can only lend 89.5 rupees to other customers and this 19.5 rbi says i will keep with myself if <coughs> there is any crisis in your bank if there is any crisis in the economy and the bank shuts down I can use this 19.5 to refund the customers to give their safe money to them now this is why customers believe in banks this is why customers have faith in bank because if anything goes wrong they have the assurity they have the guarantee that their one money will be returned back so let's go ahead and do a practical example so if you deposit 1000 in a bank cash reserve ratio is another form of money which the banks are required to keep in the form of cash is 4% and SLR is 19.5% then the bank can use 1000 minus 4% of 1040 rupees minus 19.5% of 1195 rupees so 765 rupees is the only amount which the bank can invest or give loan to other customers the other amount will have to be kept with RBI a practical example which you can see in this uh, animated cartoon 1000 rup rupees is deposited by the customer the SLR and CRR is rupees 40 plus 195 and the remaining money 765 is what the bank can 
give to the other customers or corporates for loan so this is the only amount which the bank can earn income from now difference between SLR and CRR it's very easy SLR restricts the bank leverage in pumping more money into the economy so SLR the RBI uses to control money in the economy CRR is the portion of the deposit that the banks have to maintain with RBI higher the ratio lower is the amount the banks will be able to use for lending investment now CRR is entirely cash to meet SLR banks can use cash gold or approved securities CRR has to be only in cash CRR is maintained in cash with RBI whereas SLR is maintained in liquid form with the bank themselves so cash in the form of CRR will have to be given in physical to RBI whereas in SLR the banks are required to keep the liquid security in form of cash government approved securities or any other security within with themselves but it will be uh, with RBI so the bank have to inform every evening that this is the amount of SLR which is prescribed by RBI and we are maintaining that in the form of SLR you can take any time from us so I'm sure this video would help you would have helped you to clear the concept of SLR and if you really like this video you can please press the like button share it on all the social media platforms so that I feel encouraged and make more videos of this sort you can also press the subscribe button and press the bell icon thank you have a great day bye bye if you like my video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell icon